Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video, you may notice I'm running two different operating systems at the same time, and that's because we are going to be using NitroShare, and I need to be able to send files to and from, and the only way to do that and record it is to show you two operating systems. So to start off, I have installed the NitroShare AUR package, and I've got it working on my system, and I'm going to open that up really quick and uh, click the close button. Now I always refer to Medjro as Arch because it's a derivative. Uh, it's not, it's its own operating system, it's not just Arch, so I apologize uh, for those of you who wonder why I say that. But anyways, uh, so I've got NitroShare working over here and if we look in my my system tray we'll see it here. Now I'm also going to go to Ubuntu and open up NitroShare. Now Picture these being two separate computers sitting next to each other and you want to send files back and forth. You're going to need to open up NitroShare on both computers. So now you see on my, my desktop here on the host machine, we see that it's joined. And we can see if I want to send a file from the VM, <clears throat> I suppose we should have a file to send first. Uh, let's go, <clears throat> excuse me, touch test.txt. So we have a text file. We have a text file that we can send. So we can go to NitroShare, we can click Send Files, click the text file, select the desktop, click OK. Now my desktop over here has said Received Transfer. So I can go over here, NitroShare, View Transfers, and I can see that it succeeded. I can then click Dismiss. I can go to my downloads folder here and go to NitroShare and I can see this is the text file that I just got from the VM. Now if I want to send it the other way through and maybe I want to send a directory from my folder over here to the virtual machine, I can go to send directory, I can go to the folder, let's say I want to send my pictures, my wallpaper folder, I click OK, select the VM, click OK, it's going to be sending. 300 and some uh, wallpaper files <clears throat> and it sends exactly like this straight in over the network and then once it's done transferring the VM will get a notification saying that it was transferred I can go to the downloads folder nitro share wallpapers and uh, each of these JPEGs are in their own folder uh, but you know just gotta there's a lot of stuff here so it's gonna be a little weird but as you can see, they're slowly starting to load up. And uh, so that's how you send and receive files through NitroShare. Please understand that this isn't just a Linux application. I just happen to focus on Linux in my tutorial because that's what I use and that's what I use this for. But if you have a Linux computer, maybe you want to send something to a Mac or a Windows machine, it works that way too. You just got to make sure you install NitroShare on both applications. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.